what they go do with me now I'm still a talk of the town Don't need assistance, I'm poking them down We turn the smiles into frowns Gang hop out, then we Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Coley from Talk of the Town Today we have a very special guest The flow queen herself Hi, how are you? How you feeling? Good, how you feeling? I'm good How good. you feeling about being in New York right now? You know I love New York For real? It's always a vibe Yeah, what's your favorite thing to do out here? Go to the strip club. Okay, so do you like like Atlanta strip clubs or New York strip clubs? You know I'm biased. I'm gonna say Atlanta. I feel like Atlanta's turned too. They're That's bigger. why I'm like like they're a lot bigger. Yeah. I would say that. But I mean the smaller ones are vibe too. It's more like intimate. what's the word? Intimate. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it be giving out here. Okay, so I'm gonna ask you some questions. Just say the first thing that comes to your mind. Okay. Okay, so who if you had a biopic, who could you see acting as yourself? Any actor? Kiki Palmer. Okay. <laughs> What's your favorite food to cook? Spaghetti. Okay. Red flags and a friend. A friend. Red flags and a friend? Or a girl. Yeah. Because she's not your friend, but a red flag. You're like, I can't fuck with her if. Um, how many? Just one. Just one. A liar. <laughs> <laughs> just one. Y'all got to go there. Yeah. Okay. What's your go-to for every outfit? Every outfit? Yeah. What's your go-to? A two-piece. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, what's your favorite cast member from Love & Hip Hop? Besides me? Yeah. What's hey, me? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, Miami or Atlanta? Miami. Favorite unreleased song? It's called One Wish. One Wish. Okay. When is that coming? On the project. Okay. 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 <laughs> <laughs> um, what age do you want to retire, if ever? 45. 50. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Fuck it, just go there. <laughs> What's your least favorite hairstyle? Bob. Really? I fucking hate a bob. I mean, I yes, mean. I just wear it from time to time because it, it just give out that certain. Yeah, it give you boss. You know what I'm saying? It give boss look, I guess. Yeah, I it know. do, but I just every now and then I put a bob in my head, but I hate a bob. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Toot that or I ain't got time. Toot that. Okay. And what's one thing you want to do on your bucket list? That's not safe. It uh, could be, what's not safe? I'm trying to jump out a plane or something? And I was going to say ride a helicopter. <laughs> okay. I mean, no, you should do but that. But it's too small. It's too compact. When I just thought about it just then, I was like, it's too small. I probably would lose my shit. So <laughs> probably not that. Okay. Um, what is on my bucket list that I haven't done? Yeah. I said earlier I want to go to Bali. Okay. I want to go to Bora Bora too. Okay, so traveling a little bit. Mm -hmm. Who do you text the most? Jeanette. That's my homegirl. Okay. <laughs> okay, and then last one, a conspiracy theory you think is real. The black cat crossing your path. Oh, you think that's bad luck? I think it's bad luck. Mm. If I ever see one, I look the other way. As if Not I ain't real. see it. I don't know. That's one I don't hear people say. I, be I believe in it. I hear people say aliens. I hear people say the world flat. Aliens are not real. You one of the people that think they is? I don't know. That mean you think they is. <laughs> They're not. It's fake. I don't know. Like I don't. I don't know. No. Okay. So um, talk to us about. Well, you're from Texas. Mm -hmm. And when did you move to Atlanta? Uh, I moved to Atlanta in 2021. Okay. So um, growing up in Texas, uh, musically, do you feel like that that contributed to your creativity? What? Growing up in Texas. Or oh yeah. Think? Yeah. I mean, you know, I'm a Southern girl, so I feel like a lot of my sound is you know, originated from what I know, which mm -hmm. is Southern music styles, you know? Right. So, yeah, or a lot of people that are not from Texas say I have an accent. Mm -hmm. Like, New York has an yeah. accent. We got an accent, yeah. It's really strong. Yeah. Y'all be say like, words York, hard. Y'all don't say New York. Yeah. It's New York. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, um, moving to Atlanta, did that, you feel like, impacted your music style too? Or you feel like you brought Texas over to Atlanta? I feel like I brought Texas over to Atlanta. Okay. Because Atlanta has its own sound, too. Mm -hmm. I love Atlanta music, though. Hmm? I love Atlanta music. Yeah. Like the, yeah. So, um, your latest song, On His Face, mm -hmm. when, what inspired that song? What you think inspired that song? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so did you get, like, a crazy message? Did you just have a good night? Like, um, what, what's, what's tea? I had a few good nights. <laughs> okay. Have you ever been on his face before? Yeah. Come on now. How many times? Is my nigga or just like? Just in general, just in life. In life, a couple. I'm 26, so I'm okay. up there. Okay, babe. I'm just trying to pick your brain, see where you're at. Yeah, yeah, I'm up there. You got the ass, though. I don't got all that. 
He ain't got to have no ass to get on his face. <laughs> yeah, that's not what he eating. I mean, he might. I don't know. But On His Face is <laughs> one of my favorite songs lately. Um, and I just wanted to make a song that I felt like was relatable to mm -hmm. the girls. Yeah. And they feel me. Yeah. Um, everything that I'm saying. Because yeah. who ain't been there? You know what I'm saying? Right. Mm -hmm. So, um, are you single? Are you dating? Like, I'm always single. Are you always single? I mean, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so why, why do you feel like you're single right now? Are you focused on yourself? Is it just um, I'm really just focused on myself right now. Myself, my music, my project I'm getting ready to drop. Mm -hmm. Um, I've been working a lot lately, moving around a lot, traveling a lot. Mm -hmm. um, you know, just putting my all into my music. So I would say that's why. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So what's the backstory on the project? Um, backstory. Okay. So I'm always recording music. Mm -hmm. And I released my last project last December. Mm -hmm. So it's almost been a year almost. Okay. And, you know, over the past year, I had just been recording. And I'm like, okay, I finally have a body of work I could put out. Mm -hmm. um, you know, my supporters are asking for that. Because, you know, I normally drop freestyles here right. and there to stay afloat. And, and they works. go viral every time. You know what I'm saying? They go viral I can every time. Fucking say <laughs> fucking four words if the beat is hard and it rhymes and it sounds good. Yeah. They love it. And I love that they love it. So, mm -hmm. you know. That's typically my thing, but then I started seeing comments where they were like, oh my God, when are you gonna drop a tape? Okay, girl, we tired of the freestyles. Mm -hmm. Okay, does she do anything else? Okay, Erica, please, a real song. So I'm like, okay, okay. let me put a project together. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, you know, it was just time. How many songs? 12. And any features? Yes. Who's, on, who's your features? What? The big- Oh my God. The, no, I'm just asking. Oh, I thought you wanted me to just spoil it. Oh, okay. okay. Well, obviously, you can give Big us Boogie. One. Yeah, we know yeah. one. We know Big Boogie. Um, okay. And there are a few more. A few more. Girl, boy. Boy. All right, that's it. You don't got to right. give us no more. <laughs> <laughs> you don't got to give us no more. Okay. All right. Okay, so um, so what's the name? Cocky on Purpose 2. Cocky on Purpose 2. Right. So do you feel like the fans kind of gave you this or you, you kind of picked this name? Um, so I have a previous project I dropped in 2019 mm -hmm. titled Cocky on Purpose. Right. That was like maybe a year after I left school to do music. Okay. So people that listen to my music then know about their project. So okay. now I was like, okay, well, how do I bring this new era of me in with a splash of like the old, me, old you know, from you. what those people know? Right. And I was like, I'm going to just take this title and call it Cocky on Purpose too. Okay, mm -hmm. so it's it's kind of a deluxe, but not really. Just kind of new and improved, Erica. I guess you could. It's think? kind of a little bit about the new. Okay. I like I like the way you said that. Yeah, it's kind of both. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. So, do you feel like you be having pressure making songs with like Busted going platinum, and then you know how they be wanting more and more? So, mm -hmm. do you feel like the pressure of like perfecting your music, or do you feel like you kind of just go with the flow? I just go with the flow. I don't. Uh, I don't make a song with the intent for it to go okay. viral or be a TikTok song. I just mm -hmm. make music because I like making music, you okay. know? And I always try to make a, I go to, or I go for a good song, mm -hmm. not a hit song. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, a good song sure. could be a hit song, but I yeah. just try to make good songs. Okay. You know? Do you put that same effort into your freestyles too? Cause I feel like all your freestyles be good too. So like, what's, the, what's the difference um, between a good freestyle and a good song for you? A good song is something that is memorable, mm -hmm. timeless, right. never forgotten about. A freestyle is more so kind of for the moment, mm. you know, for okay. that for that week, for that month. Okay, so it's a shock value thing. It's freestyle. a shock value thing. That's okay. why I just consistently do it. Okay. But a song is like, okay, we're never going to forget this song. Right. You know, for sure. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, so okay. um, when doing the freestyles, when picking the beats, how do you go about that? I really just go with my favorite old songs. Okay. Because if you notice, like I do, well, lately I had done like either an older song mm -hmm. from like a long time ago, or I would right. do a newer song that just came out. Mm -hmm. So it just depends on like if I want to do a freestyle tomorrow, I would say, okay, what's my favorite song right now? Okay. Or what's the song that I like back in 2005? You know? Right. So that's kind of how I pick it. Okay, okay, okay. I feel like you definitely be like stamping the freestyles after you do them. Thank you. And then people want to do the beats after. Right. That's exactly <laughs> how I go. But that's good because I get beats. Yeah. So that's good. Um, so people, so like when you jump on, because I know you got on Gucci Beat, did he co-sign you after that one? Or he commented or something, right? If I'm not mistaken. Did he? 
don't know. I don't know. You got mad comments. I don't know. Did he comment? I don't know. Did he show love? Like, I don't know. If he did, I didn't see it. Okay. Maybe you talking about something somebody seen it didn't tell me. I don't know. I didn't see him. I probably okay. did not see him. Maybe he did. I don't okay. know. Has he ever reached out, though? Y'all plan to work in the future? We've maybe? met each other. Okay. Yeah, we met each other in person, just, you know, passing through the studio. But we never just sat down and, like, had, like, a real conversation. Okay. So, you, of course, you have your rapping bag. Then you have your, like, R&B bag. Like Daddy Dior, you did the thing on that verse. Mm -hmm. So like, what's I guess what's some more R and B artists you want to work with? I always say Janae Aiko. Okay. Summer Walker. Mm -hmm. mm. I think Adele would be fire too. Adele. Mm, She's not R and B, huh? What is that? Pop, pop ish. I pop -ish. don't know. Everything is all together right now. Like I feel like you happening. sing, like you know what I'm saying. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Are you um working on your vocals? Cause I thought you could sing too. No girl, no well, girl. One, two. No. Ain't got time. You was fake singing. I slick was, but you know. I mean, it's I, not like it's I not. I mean, I'm like, not Alicia Keys. Or Beyonce, right, right, right. You know, I can hold a little too. Little one, two. Would you wanna like get practice more singing or? No, no. I feel like the auto tune gonna do just a little bit I needed to do. Okay. Cause I ain't gonna never just get into like a <laughs> singing bag. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. So, probably not. Okay. Um. Do you feel like? You working on your vocals help with your flows, cause you are the flow queen. So imagine um, if you could sing, sing, sing. You know what I'm saying? Or you didn't never think that far. That's too deep. That's too deep. Yeah. Okay. I feel like I'm gonna always be able to rap. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Now sing, probably not. That'll okay. that'll probably go away yeah. with time. Like I can have I'm that, a, but I'm over here. But I'm over here. <laughs> Where the rap is okay. at. Okay. <laughs> Okay, um, so lyrically, I guess, how did you learn to, I guess, get more lyrical? I feel like a lot of the girls kind of are going with what's simple, easy, quick. I feel like you still add those bars and punchlines. So mm -hmm. um, do you read? Was it college? Was it like, you know, how did you get your work play You know, it's so crazy. It actually has a lot to do with me just liking to read and learn, like you yeah. said. Because it comes from vocabulary, mm -hmm. you know, comprehension, pronunciation, right. all of these things we learned in school. Like, matter of fact, in my latest song, and On His Face, I mm -hmm. used the word vertebrae. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people, like, were commenting, was like, oh my God, using the word vertebrae is crazy. Like, why would, how did she think of vertebrae? Well, I learned it from my little skeleton book when I was a kid, uh -huh, uh -huh. and it had like a little bone, and it would point to it, and it would light up and say vertebrae. <laughs> so that's how I learned what that was. But, you know, it comes from learning, yeah. you know, and just, I don't know, I've always been a very um, thorough and clear mm -hmm. yeah. type of person. So that's kind of how my music come off. It's very thorough, it's very clear, it. um, straight to the point. Okay. Are you yeah. still reading, or you kind of just? Fuck no. I'm just. I don't read no books. Saying, <laughs> you know, like you <laughs> maybe might I should look but up I a just, little one two trying to go. Well, I don't reading know. actually bores me. I only did it because okay, I had to in college. Got it. Yeah, Makes if I ain't got to read, nah, yeah. Mm -mm. I'm just asking. Do you right. read? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, no, no. I'm, no, I'm you don't. Lie. It's not good. Don't even lie. But you definitely obviously watch TV. You in reality TV. Mm -hmm. So how did you know when you was about to get in love with hip hop? Like how did you get the call? Like what happened? Um, they reached out to my team, and my team let me know. Mm -hmm. And it was basically a like a are you interested or not kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And I was like, of course I'm interested. I've never been on reality TV. Mm -hmm. um, so I started filming with them a year ago. I'm now filming season twelve. Okay. Um, actually, I come on tomorrow. Oh, she should watch it tomorrow, yeah. Oh, shit, okay, okay. Yeah, I know they, yeah, they yeah. just added Saucy to the new cast. Uh-huh, yep, yep. Yes. So, um, so how do you feel about it now that you've done it? Of course, you're still doing it. Um, A lot of people feel like reality TV is fake. How do you feel about it? It is fake. Oh, so yeah. some of that stuff not real? Yeah, I'm glad you said that. Because a lot of people think it's like 100% real. I'm just like, y'all. Y'all know they paying me to show up to these <laughs> places, right? <laughs> but, yeah, like... Some of it is real, but the majority of it is TV. Okay, it's you know. T. Um, do, okay, so yeah, so, if you, would you do your own show? Absolutely. What, what would be the premises? Like, what would be the, because you know they got like, Jocelyn Cabaret with right. all the girls in the house, or? I, I would say this, I have an idea. Okay. You don't but gotta, I don't want to spoil it. Okay, you don't got to give too much. Is it going to be like, music related? Or would it be? It could be. Okay. Because I just seen um, Deb's house. She had all the girls in the house, like, 
the best rapper won a deal or something like that. I thought really? that was cute. What is that yeah. on? Um, that was on Wee TV, if I'm not mistaken. Is it new? I gotta go watch yeah, it. That sounds new. interesting. It was new. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, it's new. But mm. yeah, so okay, so it would be something music related. Maybe. Maybe. But definitely with the girls. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Or guys, I don't know. It okay. depends on which way I go. Yeah, I was gonna say, I say, if don't I know. go that way, it could be the girls. If I go that way, it could be the guys. I don't know. You're gonna have to get too much tea. What um, reality shows are you watching right now? You know what? None. None? You're no. not watching baddies, none of that stuff? I watch baddies every now and then. Like, if I get okay. a chance to watch TV, because I really don't watch TV, I really like. Either watch Netflix or, girl, I'll be so tired, I just go to bed. Or I'll scroll on my phone until I doze right, off. Right. Like, I'm not really Because you see the clips on social, so it's like. You know, it's like yeah. you watching it all right there for the right, most right, part. Right. So. Do you feel like you would be on baddies? No, I love Natalie, but no. <laughs> <laughs> it be a lot going on. It do be a lot it going on. It be too on. much going on. It do be a lot but going on. But it is a very entertaining show. Yeah. I was just asking. <laughs> would you be on baddies? No. Nah. <laughs> no, nah, it's a lot happening. You know. Um, I, I just honestly I don't get it like why they fighting every day, like it just I mean, be unnecessary. Some people like that. It's dragged out. That's some um, the whatever. Yeah, I mean, hey, you know, it. teach us on. We don't gotta get into it. Okay, so um, a lot of things you post end up on blogs. They always watching what you say. Recently, you was like saying Fifty Cent yummy or something like that. You tweeted Fifty Cent is yummy. <laughs> is that your type? He one of my types. Is he too old or that's not? Absolutely the hell not. <laughs> nope. Okay. Is there an age cutoff? No. Um, yeah, right? Yeah. For right now it is. Okay. Okay. 50 is my cutoff. For sure. I'm 25. Okay. So he could be 25 years older oh, than me. Oh, so the old niggas can shoot they shot? Hell yeah. As long as they got money. That old money. You know what I'm talking about. Because your past relationships say you're expensive. I am. What is it you be wanting that you feel like is so expensive? Or you feel like niggas is cheap? <sighs> Some niggas are. Yeah. I don't even think I'm expensive. I think the things that I like just happen to be expensive. Because <laughs> if they was cheap, I'd still buy it. Okay. You know what I'm saying? If this wig cost me $100, I still, what about it? Okay, as long as the hair was good. And... You know. Okay. But it didn't cost $100. <laughs> and that's just not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. When did you start calling yourself the flow queen? I started calling myself the flow queen. This was a while ago. Mm -hmm. um, did fans start saying it, or did you start saying it? And then, so I feel like I see fans say it too, though. They yeah, they always will compliment on my flow and how they they like how I deliver, right? Mm -hmm. And so I was like, what name can I take from what they're saying? And I was like, well, they keep talking about how they like the flow. Okay, flow queen. It just stuck. Mm -hmm. I came up with Flow Queen, it stuck, and so now that's what they classify me as outside of Erica Banks. And I so love that, y'all. <laughs> but, yeah. Do you feel like it's controversy when using the word queen? Because I know, like, Asian calls up the queen of drill. I think a lot will be, like, queen of the south or something. I but mean, it's always, of I course like, it's, it's controversy in there because of the of word course. and its meaning. Right. But I feel like everybody should feel like, you they know, queen at some whatever point. they do, that they're the queen of that, whatever that is. Right. Yeah. What's your favorite thing to do? My or what are you good at? Um, like really good at? What am I really good at? Honestly, like graphics and like editing. Like I'm a tech girly. Okay. Yeah. So tech queen. Type shit. Okay. Okay. Period. So now that you got that, so we're gonna play a game. Okay. This game is called King slash Queen. Okay. So I'm gonna say the king of whatever, and then you just tell me who you feel like is that. Okay. And it's all your opinion. Okay. So yeah. I say, okay, queen, king of trap. T.I. Okay. Queen of bars. Nicki Minaj. Okay, king of producing. Mm. That's T. <laughs> yeah. Modern or? Um, let's just say for 2024, right now. Right now? Yeah. 2024? Mm-hmm. That's you a hard one. I'll say anything you say. Go. Okay, I would say Tay Keith. I was gonna say that, Easy. but I didn't want to. I didn't want to be wrong. I was like, okay, is there anybody else making for like a lot of his right now? Right now, Tay Keith making. That's babies. what I was thinking. I just wasn't sure. I was like, is that right? Okay, so I was right. <laughs> okay, um, Queen of Style. Hmm. Who be putting that shit on the girls? Style. Mm -hmm. You know what? I like Lady London style. Yeah. I like her style a lot. Yeah. I really do. Like I get into her outfits. Cute. Yes. Yes. Yep. Yes. Okay, King of Bars. Drake. 
Drake. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. Queen of R and B. Mary J. Blige. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. King of this year. Like, who's been on a thing this, this year? This year? Mm-hmm. Boss Man D-Lo. <laughs> I was going to say the same thing. Yeah. I didn't know if he was going to say that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, queen of acting. Halle Berry. Okay, okay. Yeah. King of features. Who's killing the feature every time they get on it? Money Bag Yo. Huh? Money Bag Yo. Mm, yeah, he okay, is. Okay, okay. Yeah. I was going to say Lil Baby. Lil Baby too. Him too. Lil Baby too. Yeah. He, just, he just started doing more features again, though. Money right. Bag been, like, he was mm-hmm. on his thing. Okay, and of course, the queen of flow. Hello. <laughs> am I like am I not here? <laughs> okay. So um what's your favorite songs right now? Any genre? Um what do you listen to? What's have you on your playlist right now? I forgot her name. I'm not gonna even do that to her song. Okay. But I said it earlier, but I love that song, but I'm not gonna do that to her name because I forgot. Uh any summer walker song, really. Okay. I can play any summer walker song any time of day. Okay. Um and then I have songs of my own that are on the project that's uh-huh. not out yet that are my favorite already. So you've been listening to yourself? Yeah. What's your favorite on the project right now? Out of the entire project? Mm-hmm. Do you have a favorite? The One Wish I mentioned earlier. One Wish? Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah, what type of vibe is that? Is that rapping or R&B vibe? It's like a little... Ooh, it's like rapping with like a hint of R&B. Okay. You know? And it's like... Okay. It has the um, One Wish sample. Like okay. the Ray J One Wish. Yeah, it's yeah. that sample. It's nice, cute. nice, nice. Yeah. Okay. All right. And then you also have On They Neck. It was featured on a Netflix soundtrack, right? Yes, for the Brews movie. Yes. Is there something? Yeah, shout yes. out to Halle Berry. It's crazy. <laughs> I was just talking about your girl. Yeah. But, um, yeah, so that was super fun, shooting the video. Actually, meeting Halle Berry was insane. Mm. Um, I met oh, her met in. Her? Yeah, I met her at nice. the movie premiere in L.A. Okay. Um. We took a red carpet picture together. Right, it was, right. I couldn't believe my fucking life. Okay, okay. But yeah, it was it was crazy. So how did you know that that song was gonna be in the movie? Um, that was another one of those things that my team called me about uh-huh. and said, "Hey, um, we need you to make a song for this movie." Okay. They sent me two beats. I chose one. I made that song. Okay. They liked it, nice. and we shot the video, and it was on the soundtrack. Nice. Are you still working with fifteen oh one? No. Okay. So y'all didn't mend the differences, I guess. We did. You did, but you good off that. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's fair. All right, so the holidays are coming up. You did a Christmas project before. Yes. How are you feeling? Do you feel like you want to do another one? Do you want to... Would you ever do it again? I would do another one. Okay. Not Probably not this year. Okay. Because every year around Christmas time, really around Thanksgiving, people start playing the Christmas project. Right. Um, and every year I've released a video to it. Mm-hmm. I think I have two more songs on there that I haven't shot. No, shot I think it. it's three more songs. Okay. That don't have videos. But every year I try to shoot a video. It has a total of like six songs, I think. Okay. So this year I'm going to shoot another video um, for a song on the Christmas project and just bring it back to life again. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What made you want to do that, though? Like, just a Christmas song in general. I love Christmas. Okay. I love Christmas music. Okay. But I wanted like some some fun Christmas music. And right. I feel like everybody needed that in their life. Yeah. And um yeah, like I say, every year people tune into it, mm-hmm. bring it to life again. Some people listen to it in July, which is crazy, yeah. but hey, I love it. Yeah, whatever whatever they into, you know. What well, you know, hey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we also know that you throw down in the kitchen. Mm-hmm. What's your favorite you say your favorite thing to cook a spaghetti? Outside of baked chicken, yeah. Okay. Would you do like a cooking series on like YouTube? I seen you did it with you know Sierra. what? I yes, yeah. I would, but I'm just too lazy, Busy. girl. Like I bought a camera and everything, never used it <laughs> in my life. You should vlog though. I should vlog. You should. Vlog. I started vlogging this New York trip and I stopped because I got lazy. Okay. So I have you, to stop You need doing a cameraman with you. Yeah, but you know what? <sighs> do you? No. No, probably not. Know. My nerves get real bad. <laughs> I, you you you're more private. You mm-hmm. feel like okay, so yeah, yeah, yep. One day. One I'm going to get better at it. All right. So, last game. I'm going to start this sentence and you just finish it. Like, my favorite color is. Okay. Okay. So, my favorite thing to do on my day off is. Sleep. That's what everybody say. It'd be <laughs> like that. Sleep. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm hungry at 3 a.m., my go-to is. Tacos. Okay. I'll never forget when. Busting went viral. Okay. Yeah. How was that? Crazy. When you got the call that it went platinum. Where was you? Platinum, platinum, platinum. Where was I? I remember, remember where I was when it went gold, but I don't remember where I was when it went platinum. Okay. Um, so where was you when it went gold? 
I was in New Hampshire. Okay, I was doing a show? Uh-huh, okay. I had done a show and I had just finished and I had got sent over like a picture of it being on the RIAA yeah, yeah. Yep, yep, website. Yep. I was like, um, oh my God, is this real? And then like it had all like the credentials Why you thought it wasn't stuff. real? I mean, because it had never happened before, okay, okay, <laughs> you know? Okay. So I had to, I went, even though they sent me a picture, I still went on the website, typed it in just yeah. to make sure and it was there. Okay. But um, yeah, I was in New Hampshire. It was exciting. I do remember when it went platinum. I just don't remember, remember where I was where at. Remember where it was at? Yeah. Okay. Do you feel like um, you be having to fact check some stuff? You feel like it'd be fake stuff going around? That's why you wanted to double check? Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't believe like. shit till I see it. Right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Finish the sentence. The craziest thing a guy said to me was... Hmm. Probably a lot of crazy stuff. I just... I can't think of nothing that was just outlandish because I've never, like... I've never had one of those moments. Okay. I think, maybe like, the maybe they just wouldn't try me like that or something. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. You feel like you're too spicy? You feel like... I feel like I'm too spicy. <laughs> they always come, like, real, like... Nice. Not even nice. Like, gentle. Gentle. You okay. know. Are you into that? Do you like aggressive guys? Like, what's your... I like aggressive once you know me. Okay. Like, don't start being aggressive if you don't even know me. That's how we are. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, finish the sentence. I can't wait until I... Have another drink. I only had one today, girl. Oh, okay. I need another That's one. That's crazy. Was, I you didn't had know drink what today? you was into. I didn't drink today yet. You drink when you leave her? Yeah. Okay, you might And I'll be bitch. smoking hookah. Like, hookah's my Oh, thing. girl, same. What flavor <laughs> you like? Love 66. Ooh. What? You this is too spicy girly? for me. You know what? I do like a little mint. I like either orange vanilla mint or strawberry vanilla mint. Uh, we'll be doing more blueberry mint out here. I smoked blueberry mint when I first started smoking hookah. But it yeah. started getting real harsh. So I'll stop smoking it. Yeah, it'd be mm. like that. Okay, yeah. um, my style is? Edgy. Okay. My funniest memory is when? My funniest memory is when? When some funny shit happened to me? Damn, are you always serious? Life be kicking my, I mean, <laughs> kicking my ass. Like, I don't feel like, I don't know. Like, I don't, I don't know. That's hard. That's okay, hard. fun girls trip, a night in a club, like a fun night. Like a fun night? Oh, a fun night was last night. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's all I'm gonna say about it. All right. Um, <laughs> niggas have me fucked up when they think that when they think that they're gonna fuck with me when they feel like it. Okay. I'm not going for that. Consistency for sure. Yeah, I might uh -huh. go for it a couple times. Mm -hmm. Maybe three if it's shit good. Mm -hmm. But after that, I'm not going to mom. Okay. Are you more of an on my time type of person? Absolutely. Or you just, it just got to be consistent throughout? No, I'm an on my time kind of person. Because when I want to see somebody, it's never like, I'm not going to call you at like five in the morning and say, hey, come over. Leave in the club, you're not going to do that? I did go to a man's house at five in the morning yesterday. But, right. but, 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 but. Oh, it's see You got a boo in New York? Huh? Huh? Who? I don't <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Oh, I mean, I mean, but, <laughs> <laughs> okay. but I mean, you know, it worked out. So I mean, mm -hmm. you know. so no five a.m. calls. Got it? Maybe yesterday, club? but just yesterday. Normally, just I come yesterday. earlier than that. Normally, so it'd be like three a.m. Okay, five a.m. is crazy. Okay, I mean, we got after afties in New York. So. That's why I didn't go up there till the sun came up. <laughs> I was like, this is embarrassing. Yeah. Okay, um, I'll never regret when I left school to start rapping. Okay, all right. If you want to impress me, you have to spend money on me. <laughs> okay, yeah. what's uh, what's like first date vibes for you? Romantic activity, shopping, like shopping would be ideal. <laughs> you okay. know, I love to eat though. I'm right. cool with us going out to eat and just having like a nice dinner. Mm -hmm. But what's better than dinner with a shopping spree right before? Right. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Or buy me a house. I don't know. <laughs> you know, whatever he chooses to do. I, okay. You know, but you got to do something. Okay. Yeah. You giving up free ass? Free? Nah. You know what I'm saying? So you feel me? Nah, we need something. We, we got to get something, something out of Something got to give. Yep. So, um, so what's, I guess, do you feel like you're romantic? Definitely. When I like a person. All right. So you're not in that bag right now. You're single, living life right now. I'm living life. I'm single. I'm happy. Mm -hmm. No kids. Yeah. You know. Do you want kids? 
Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Like when, like? Um. Uh, okay, so I had this plan in my head that I was going to have two kids by 27. Mm, I'm 25. Okay. <laughs> Probably Jeez. not. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay it's okay, looking more like 30. Three? No, 30. not 33. Oh. 30. Okay, 30. Yeah. And still two kids? Or still three? two kids. If I have two kids by 30, that means I got to have one kid when I'm 28, one kid when I'm 29. What if you had twins? Oh, fuck no. <laughs> don't wish that on me. <laughs> I'm saying, like, what if? I do. Oh, God, please don't give me no twins. Girl, boy? Like, what do you want? I want a boy first. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's what's up. All right, so what does success look like to you? You've been in the music industry for a minute now. Um, I feel like everybody's success looks different. What does success look like to you? Success to me looks like wealth, mm -hmm. um, financial stability, um, waking up every day, just living life without a care and, you know, mm -hmm. shit, just being okay. Okay. You know? Yeah, okay. Yeah, literally, like, overall being okay. Do you feel like you hit your successful point yet, or do you feel like you're still working towards that? I'm definitely always still working towards that. Yeah. I mean, I feel like I've done quite a bit. Yeah. I think I've done great for where I'm at, but I'm always still working. Okay. I don't feel like I've just done it all until I can retire, you know? Okay. Because when I retire, I pretty much did everything. Okay. So um, some people say, do you have, like, what, sh what you're working towards in success? Like, some people say, like, I know Beast and Mom was on a journey, like, when I hit a million dollars, I hit this. Yeah. Or do you have a, a goal like that or... Um, I don't necessarily have a money goal. Um, yeah. My goals are more so like becoming mm. memorable, memorable, legendary, you know, okay. iconic. Like monumental um, moments. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. I'm, I'm going for more of that route. Okay. I feel like I can okay. with time and, you know. Yeah. yeah. Do you feel like you put a lot of pressure on yourself? Yeah, I do. I feel like we all do. Yeah, I feel like you talking like you seem like you're like not satisfied with some stuff, but then you're like, it's like graceful, but it, it just seemed like you like, I could do more. I mean, yeah. Like you pushing like, yourself type shit. You know, I, I'm very proud, but mm -hmm. it's a lot more. That okay, that you want to do. That I would like to do. That I'm going to yeah. do. Let me say that. That I'm going to do. On the way. Yeah, that's that's on the coming. Way. Yeah, okay. let me speak that into existence. But yeah, so, I feel like that's kind of normal now. Okay, so give, me, give us two things that's on your to-do list or legendary moments that you would want to achieve? Oh, my legendary to-do list. You got a list. platinum plaque already. Okay. <laughs> I want like, I want like 10 more, 10, 10 plus. More. 10 plus. Okay. Yeah, 10 plus. All right. Um, and just overall being able to leave that mark and people remember me for not only being a great rapper, but mm -hmm. A rapper that stayed true to herself, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Who remained herself yeah. through everything. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I feel like being yourself is important. Yeah. 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 I feel like you're, you're very much unapolo unapologetically yourself. Like, you don't seem like any regret or remorse for, like, stuff you mm -hmm. do or say or anything like that. Damn. What you mean? No, I mean, like, it's given, like, you stand on business. Like, you're not changing or swaying because... Somebody's, oh, oh, yeah, sure you damn right. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, um, do you have a release date for the project? I do. Okay. You want to give it to us? Or? It's soon. Soon? Yeah. Um, let's say uh, before Halloween? Before Halloween. Okay. For sure. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, maybe this summer? Okay. Too much? Uh, Too much. Uh, <laughs> 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 All right. Um, speaking of the summer, do you feel like, what song do you feel like is a song of the summer right now? Right now? Yeah. What you been playing or hearing all summer? Because I've been hearing a lot of Sexy Red. For sure. I feel like Sexy Red is everywhere. Yeah. Shout out to her. Anything yeah. Sexy Red right and now. And Boss Mandilo, one of them too. I, how could I forget him? Yeah. Boss Mandilo, yes. One of them Him too. too. He got about 30 songs in rotation right, right now. In rotation. And I know them all. <laughs> no, for real. Um, okay, so when you when your song went viral on TikTok, it was super like global. Um, mm -hmm. I feel like some of the TikTok songs that go viral right now don't have like the same wow effect that it did back then. Do you agree or disagree? Yeah, it doesn't really. I'm not sure why that is. Maybe because every it's song started to become like right now. 
Huh? It's oversaturating right now. Like everybody's yeah. pushing. It's probably hard to, to focus on one song because it's always like a newer song. Like every right. week. Like we just said, this thing got five songs in rotation. You know what I'm saying? And like four of them got to dance. Yeah. <laughs> so it's a lot happening. Exactly. It's a lot happening. Okay, so I'm um, definitely before Halloween project. Um, before what Halloween. else are you working on? What else um, can we look forward to? So I have the project coming out. I have a tour coming up following the project. Okay. Um, Who you on tour with? By yourself or with somebody? We're actually just wrapping it up and okay. putting some final touches on it, adding people to it. So I will have more information about that. Okay. Soon to let Soon. you know. Yes, yeah, so you Soon. can tell everybody. Okay. But, and but. then when I get the New York date, I'm gonna let you know. Are you okay. gonna come? Yeah. Don't bullshit me. No, I'm dead serious. Okay. We um we, we went to Boss Man D-Lo show when he was out here really? too. Really. Facts. He he had who was on tour with? It was Mellow Bucks and somebody else he had on How tour. Was it? it was crazy, I'm not gonna lie. Really? The girls was wilding. For real. The girls was turn twerking, everything. They was twerking on my man. That's <laughs> <laughs> Okay. That's it. Be too much going he on. He had a little um like money counter on stage. He was giving out money. He was the girls was rallying. He yep. was throwing out money. Mm-hmm. He definitely was. I'm gonna talk to him about that. Yeah, he was tricking. He was tricking. Fake. No, I'm joking. Okay, don't, don't worry. <laughs> I'm joking. I'll be on that phone. I'm joking. Mm-hmm. Okay, all right. So you guys number? Huh? You guys number? Oh, yeah. Okay. I got some. Yeah, we texting, talking. A little one, two. A little one, two, three. Music on the way? Like, what's the tea? You want a we're remix to something? We're working on it. Okay. Up. So something in the works. Yeah, something in the works. It. Got it. That'll be fire, though. Who else is texting, Erica? Who else is in your DMs? I can't give away all the jewels. <laughs> <laughs> I can't give it all away. Rappers, it. actors, athletes, or all the above? All the above. You never know. Okay. Would you fuck with an athlete? You know what? I never had, but I would. I'm not against it. Okay. I got to start going to more games. Okay. Are you into sports? I like to go sit courtside. Okay. And be cute. Look cute, right? You know. I'm not really into Get my little pictures. Either, but yeah, get your pictures. You know. You get the drink. content. Get the content. You see. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, project on the way. Any mm-hmm. last words you want to tell the people? Um, other than Cocky on Purpose 2 being on the way, um, when is this interview coming out? Um, so we could do like next week or the week after. The next week or the week after. Okay. Um, yeah, so Cocky on Purpose 2, y'all, is on the way. My new single, Ho Please, is out everywhere. Make sure y'all stream it. Um, I am on Instagram, at Real Erica Banks, Twitter, at Real Erica Banks. Yeah. All Are of my music is on all me? platforms. Huh? Are you shadow being? I think I am. Because I'll be typing it in. And you got to type it in all the way for it to pop yeah, up? Yeah, then the fan pages pop up. I'm just like, Yeah, the fan pages pop up as soon as you type in my name. Right. I think I am. That's but you know what the thing is? Like, my posts still do my oh, yeah, yeah. same numbers. But I'm yeah. like, why do you got to type it out? No, all the they way finding you. We got to go through a little one Yeah, two, y'all just got to go through the loops and the hoops <laughs> and all that type of shit. Instagram, <laughs> wrong for that. You. I'm going to talk to y'all about that, too. Okay. But yeah, in the meantime, just yeah. type in Real Eric Banks. Okay. It's going to okay, come on okay. there. 